and what do you know? There should be sound now. Let me move this up a little bit. Get that border gone. There should be no pixels on the side. Oh yeah, wonderful. Now let's confirm. Do I have sound? Can you hear these buttons being moved down? That's pretty cool. Asian so hilariously passive aggressive. Characters appearing in this work are pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> oh. And again, down a little bit, that should be fun. <laughs> it's dangerous to run around here, boys. Oh, hello. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! <laughs> I love his hat. I want one of those. <laughs> Come on, step it up! Deadly premonition. <sighs> oh. 
I was kidding, show Adam a good time. <laughs> custom. A standard issue FBI gun. Can hold 15 plus 1 bullets.
Could you wait just a little longer? Okay. This won't take long. Turn it down some? Alright. How's that? Is that better? I don't want to turn too much. A white screen. I'll just add this training pad to my collection. You got Francis York Morgan. Dr. Walden number one. It's locked. Hello, mannequins. My dummy. My hanging costume. Might be used for jackets and such. A doll, shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it, which means Washington State. A strange clock is sticking away. The room itself makes it feel as if time has stopped. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. Get started. This is Snake. Zach. Zach, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice. Could you respond? Uh, yeah, Nancy. Good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Sure, that's one way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. Fans of the old FBI, special agent. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think about it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? Zach, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. Puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. At least I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach?
<laughs> Monkey sounds. Zack, there goes the civilized world. <laughs> well, he wasn't driving the gear. Ha ha ha. You know, it's good that you mentioned that, Toko, because the game is a lot like that, boy. I can save this. I steal a pipe. That's the pipe. I'll take it. The sound of the hill too meets this anyway. Time is it? The toolbox. Um, I'll take metal mouth. What do I have in here? Nothing. What's up? Yeah, sure. You gonna come? I think she's stuck in there. Still fight. Bush this. Yeah. How do you run again? Again. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Top down camera. Now it's back normal. Yeah, tank controls. Up goes where you're facing. And you rotate. No, I didn't take what snake I saw the other day. What, like four snake? Yeah, it was like the length of a road. Hey, it's an old lady in a polka dot dress. I think it was. No, 
length of the moon, like, oh, there you go, I'm going to say, the length of the moon is a bit long. Yeah. How much length was it? Oh, I just, I don't miss. It was a cup. Still, it's pretty fucking big. Yep. Yeah. Stand. Right. Anything in here? Is it going? Hey, can of pickles. We were going down this one wall called the bigger one. You got can of pickles. It was a giant black snake, all curled up in the middle of the road. Oh wow! That's... We hit it, and our car jumped. <laughs> a control panel for the power grid. This should give us the electricity we need. Hmm? No, they don't. That's me. No, they don't. That has not done a goddamn thing. Black snake can't hurt Jane anyway. And it's big. So many canvas. We do have um Oh hello. We have uh ammunition. Oh my god. <laughs> you got Mr. Your Shadow. Well, that gun's cool and all, but... Get out of my health! That's what I said. <laughs> I don't think it's game over. That's why I'm so good. This guy is having a blast. Yeah, he's having a blast. I don't know. Let's try it. I stabilized it. Cool. Hi guys, stay up. Oh, oh! Did you see that? It had a band on the box. It had a band on the box. A band. Yeah, I'll get some more. Well, now that this is done. I can go through here, the place I was locked up from before. That I didn't know about. Well, no. I turned the lodge walked in. Well, there's a car accident, did he walk in? Oh, who was that? I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one. That one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Zach, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Yeah. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? Yeah, he went to bed a little ago. He has like a ming My phone's hanging? Hold on. Pause the game. <laughs> Down on top. Wait, what was, yeah. I, I can't answer that. The deer head moves. And blinks and nods. He's pretty smug about the situation. Lollipops? Why not? Meow, meow. Wings up on the video, you guys are playing. Kind of game.
No, go away. Oh, God. That's what it's like. Oh, it's I can't see how damn things are back. Wait, what's that? Is that a box? Off, I guess with the band-aid, didn't you know? Oh, this one does not look like it'll work. Zach, I 
think the killer really had a grudge against them. He got machine broken by an axe. Her falling. This man throws him through the thing, so he can't machine with an axe. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I'm watching the fuses. Because you know, you can just take the fucking fuse box out. And that's not gonna be impaired by the fact that there's an axe in the thing. Of course not. Dude, what do you Is it locked? Is it locked? No, it's not. Oh, I 
Bucket with a biscuit? Yeah. In it. In a bag of cream. A lime sherbet bucket with a biscuit in a bag of ants. How slowly can I run? <laughs> oh, they. <laughs> I'll get you next time. Because <laughs> you know, axes can make sparks off the dirt. Mm -hmm. Is it? Well, it's usually where <laughs> Not him. He has an electric cock. Well, this is a circle, isn't it? Kind of back up. Nothing like a nitrogen enema. You can hook CO2 tanks up to your butthole. Is it gonna open up? Good. No, this is deadly premonition. Who should know? Who do you know? Which one? Uh, Yeah, Trisha. You know Trisha? She knows Trisha. How's Trisha doing? Yeah. How's Trisha doing? She's friend requesting me, and that felt that odd. Huh? Yeah, that was where they went. Oh wow, a lollipop. If I was in a bag, someone would statement. Sure there is. That would make the statement later next. Uh, not as fun. Right. Yeah. I have nothing. There's we definitely like, something in this town. Uh, like uh, Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Oh, can I get out? Is this normal for the woods? Oh god, what's going on in the skybox? Lightning. That's the fastest lightning in the world. It's strobe lightning, dude. Haven't you heard of that? Oh yeah, China's a good game. It, it only happens... Mountains. It's called strobe lightning. You know what's funny, Zelda? That happens. Well, let's uh let's keep walking. Where am I? Green Veil. Nature Preserve. Lincoln County Forest Preserves. So we're finally here, Zach. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Is that another Greenville sign? Oh, I'm glad I saw that there. You know what's scary, Williamson? What's that? My mom was watching this thing called uh, Kentucky Hillbillies. Kentucky Hillbillies? Yes. How many Greenville signs will there be? I don't know. But, uh,. It was like a documentary on the hillbillies in Kentucky, and it was set like 50 miles from Somerset. <laughs> I honestly thought I recognized the person for a second. I walk pretty fast. It was, it was scary. 
I had to relive those horrible things. Hit by it. I did not know that uh, Kentucky was one of the leading uh, states uh, with the distribution of pills. Yeah. Hmm. So they're number one in pot. Now you were very late. Emily Wyatt, Greenville Deputy Sheriff. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Jack? <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. George Woodman, Greenvale Sheriff. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small-town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <laughs> of course. Of course. Right in his face. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? I have so much want, Don Gade. Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the so hotel. Hmm. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. Uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that. Agent Morgan. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Dexter Morgan. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just... Met the king. <laughs> Pull all completed. Twenty eight minutes. Achievement unlocked. 50G. For a long period. I didn't even realize you were playing on the P or the PS60. <laughs> oh, this controller sucks, dude. And wait a second. Yeah. Can you tell us where the bed? Sure. Thanks. Zach View. 
Previously, during the investigation, yes, okay, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greendale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. I'm back in here. The mannequin's not busy. What does this mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? No guns. Yeah, is this guy from the future? You got Angel Isaac. Dude, I was like, hey, dude, I'm starting the game, and you were like, fighting games. That was an hour ago. I was shouting for you like twice, dude. I didn't hear you, dude. I was, I was too engrossed and kicking ass. It sounded like a dad a lot. Dude, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh look, he's under the covers. That's unlike any other video game. What's up? Oh. He can't hear anything at all tonight. Apparently. Dude, I am, I am out of it. 
Just like Asian <laughs> fans <laughs> York Morgan. He's under the covers. That's so amazing. <laughs> Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. I hear a cat. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. He didn't even mention it. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. Hold on a minute. First things first. I hope they have some real coffee. Okay. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? What is this? Ah, just what I wanted. What? I don't want to wear the workaholic suit, or the crimson suit, or the Asian suit. Honestly, I like this one a lot, workaholic. The workaholic? Yeah. I mean, Agent's cool and all, he wanna be a dodgy. But who wants to be a dodgy? Tokus is Agent, Zelda's is Crimson. I agree with Zelda. You think the Crimson suit? Dude, fuck yeah. This ain't that of the axe, baby. Mm. Oh, it's a fan. No, dude, the house just starts playing. Oh, now Gong Games is workaholic? Alright, what next vote wins it? Crimson. If anybody will ever say anything. Oh, fee. Oh, actually, is my agent suit even clean? <laughs> After a coke ass. Peaches says workaholic? God damn it, Peaches. Ah, Peaches has taste. She does. Green tie. I like it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Does it mean I'm doing something? Oh, I'm He was meant to bed. I can go to bed too, but I'm not going to. You just woke up. That doesn't mean anything, I'm a special agent. Wait a second. Is that a mirror? Dude, it's a mirror. Yeah. Well, you're gonna look demonic there for a second. Yeah. Because of the pixels in the eyes. Yeah. Holy oh, shit! Oh, the shit. <laughs> Looks like the door wasn't locked. <laughs> Shame with a slip, Izzy. Hey, that's the money shirt. Special agent Francis York Morgan. I have shaved. Then oh, no, I can clearly see it now that I have my glasses on. Yeah. Okay. This game is like Heavy Rain if Heavy Rain doesn't suck. Crap. Borderlands, game of the year. If I had a fucking computer to run it, why? You, you don't need to run it, you could just bought it. And it would have been just sitting there until the day that you actually got. A 40 fucking years from now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but you might just oh, I relive my younger days and play Borderlands. Because you know, <laughs> the, that game would probably closed. work then. It would, you just have to download it. You think? Yeah. You think it would work? That in 40 years, that, you wanna, you wanna that code wouldn't work. The code's in the game. The yeah. way it's written would work so on all a these rooms occupied? computer. 40 years gap. Yeah, no problem. You think so? Uh-huh. And even then, you can always emulate Windows 7. This is not right. 40 room. years from now. But I can sleep in this bed. In 40 years, every PC will come. It will be a standard to have a virtualization machine. Seven hundred copies of different operating systems. What does that say? Whenever the fuck you want. You're like, oh look, I want to play all these crazy shit. I guess I'll just fucking fire up Windows Seven because it's see free it. now. I love bio automatic here. Mm -hmm. No. That's oh, the same. Oh, 
I don't know, probably. I mean, sure, it actually looks good. Definitely okay. We're we'll playing some this in 20 FPS. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Fine. I have the feeling that I forgot something, Zach. Is this the exit already? Hey, what did I miss? What did I miss? Hello? Hello? Potted plants. This is what I missed. What is this room? Oh, I don't want coffee. Isn't coffee in this direction? I'm getting all mixed up. Coffee. Uh, no, why? That's my EKG that tells me how active I am. Yes, I have ones on my leg. If you guys would stop bugging him, he'd go to bed. Oh no, look at this, it's breakfast. I'm gonna buy some. Don't want lollipop or crackers. The crackers cost $35.56. The lollipop cost $24.45. <laughs> How much does this coffee cost? Coffee the coffee black coffee, black coffee, coffee, coffee without delicious. coffee without the dairy costs over two times as much. Damn, Why would a cup of coffee cost thirty one dollars? I don't know. I'm not getting any coffee. Williamson, they took into account. Do you want to start on that mulch Saturday? We can do it tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow. And then I won't feel bad for not helping because I'll have to go to work. Why well, we do it? Speaking of coffee, I refuse to see all the rest of them, as well as Lord of the Rings. Oh, the best music. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Polly Oxford, hotel owner. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Look at that thing spinning in the background. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no. No one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. Everybody's trying to listen along I could thing. just live on my pension. <laughs> but but I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. Yeah, of That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, 
that wound on your face. <laughs> what happened? Thing. Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Say, Polly. Yeah. What can you tell me about this town? Well, there weren't five signs telling me where I was. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. Clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sight. And you'll love it too, I think. I look yeah, forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Uh, don't worry about the shops. She's an old lady. She loves talking. Yeah. Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Oh, good. What's the theme? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The a and Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror the Galaxy and of the Terror. 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. This coffee better be good, lady. I'd sit here and listen to your bullshit for like half an hour. Alright, here we go. Do, do my alchemy. How they pour. Oh, wait, no, it was actually pouring. Never mind. Here. Yeah. I thought they, they put his arm like that. To hide it? Yeah, to hide it. Mm hmm. They made you think that, and then you actually looked at Let's it. Look with interest. Let's look with interest at this coffee. I see an octopus. I see an X. Did you see that? Yes, scene? I did. Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. No, I saw an octopus. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. <laughs> Let's keep going. I heard you guys upstairs. Oh. My computer. Hmm? I heard his computer. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's get this thing. It's Gigas. It's Gigas. I love music, man. I love music so much. It's not jumping at me because I shot it. And Kaiser Murray is more than everywhere. Yeah. Hey, look, I can get the coffee. Oh yeah, waft that coffee. Unexpected trouble is coming your way. Lucky item, invite her. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. But I'm always up for a little excitement too. 
Okay. I got money for making coffee. Now I can buy more coffee. Hey, Polly! It's my coffee. Yeah, $130. I have $1,130, yes. I'm gonna buy a lollipop, too. I mean, crackers. Crackers more expensive than better. So hey, do any of you guys feel like setting the stream? Cause that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, well, no, it's pretty sweet. Obviously not. Urgent is always here. Let's observe Polly. Her hearing is quite weak, but otherwise she's fit, fit enough to win the hotel by herself. Ah uh, yes. Oh, hi. That's dog's cat. Well played. Oh, she's also in general shop. This is like an RPG in. Let's buy from the old lady. How are your passes? You sold coffee for 16? I just spent 31 bucks on your vending machine, lady. <laughs> you bitch. What the fuck? Cigarettes cost $114.75. <laughs> Heavy cigarettes. There are no light cigarettes. Oh, actually, did you guys hear? Right. The prices of a uh, carton of cigarettes went up a mm. dollar so that they could print horrific what? pictures of cancerous lungs on the on the front of the packages. That's interesting. To but keep people from these six worms cost a hundred and nineteen dollars. Is it better be the greatest worms in the world? They cost <laughs> as much as the fishing rod! <laughs> How? I'm gonna buy them of course, but still. Good God! Everything is so expensive. I spent thirty-five bucks in a uh, uh, vending machine. I'm gonna say my game. That's why. Then I try to explore the town. We can use a card. But to give your dad a Please call. Please drive a car. Uh, I'm gonna have to have a car. But yeah, there's people in there in the uh, in Kentucky on this documentary. None of them had any teeth. <laughs> they blamed it all on Mountain Dew. I was like, you sons of bitches, don't give Mountain Dew a bad name. Well, how do they have Mountain Dew? I don't know. They spent their hard work, hard work, their hard work money on it. But their hard earned money is gotten by selling pills. Kentucky is one of the leading uh, states for uh, pill distribution. Oh, I cleared the breakfast. Oh, well, that reminds me. A frog jumped into the store tonight. Oh, yeah? Big frog, too. It was like as big. I'm a toad. Like a toad. It was almost a toad, but it was a toad. 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 It was a Jamie walks here. He's like, "No, you're lying to me." I'm like, "No, it's it's right here." He's like, "Are you are you are you fucking serious, Dustin?" And I'm like, "Yeah, are you frightened of frogs?" And I was like, "Yes." And like, "Well, then don't look over here." And she's just like, "Come on." Oh. A police car. <laughs> Our office is open. I didn't have the keys outside. Anybody in this hotel could have taken it. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. It I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood and nobody stole the car. And nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. 
Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Fuck yeah! Alright, so yeah, if ever wants to watch the third, that'd be really helpful and cool. Really helpful and cool? We'll even pay you. I mean, you can do it. Dude. You're gonna sit there with your laptop and I, do it. I'm scared of fortune. Why are you so lazy? <laughs> Why are you gonna die? Huh? Let's get out of the car. Why am I afraid? Yes. Because I have been banned from that place so many times. <laughs> you just gotta stop putting... No, it's not even that. You know, I, you know what Zach, I said? Zach, is there something what? here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but <laughs> okay, if I'm you gonna drive a car now. I'm gonna hunch that I'm with you. And, and the mod that banned me, he was like, "You were banned for being polite." And I'm like, How do I change the cam of you? Like, That's the wipers. That's the turn signal. God damn it! Get off. Yes. There we go. Dumb place. like some mod with a fucking power trip. Oh god, I can't hear the music. So jazzy. I'm not going to understand. They don't care. I care. <laughs> so, what about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays? You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. We remember in that video store that we spent hours there just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. We remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. Really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re released in '95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Alright, let's go to the uh, police office now. <laughs> hey, and Puppet Street. Puppet And First Street. Street. This analog stick is so terrible. Why does Walter Pennington control you? That's a picket fence! It's never glow, even too much. Hey, Patty. That's the only thing that I made that was good, though. I had mad cats on some open systems. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. You can drive through a lamppost. I'm not a picket fence. I'm gonna slalom between these trees. This game is just like Stalker. Yeah! I thought I missed you, but I didn't. This is how male police men work. You're getting skips? Oh, it's funny because I'm moving around so much. Country ham. Not as tasty as a turkey sandwich. Huh, who is that guy? Oh God! I'm Captain Gay. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. <laughs> his neck is. I know his neck. What the fuck? <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. 
Please, just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent, Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. I spent like two evenings in the washroom. Did you know her well? Your ass is busy. Now you can smack him in his window and watch. He's doing anything. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but Emily's here somewhere. What's the key to the cabinet where the files are? Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. I'm in the police office now. I can shoot all I want, and it's safe. And if I hold my breath, the criminals can't see me. Where could the key be? Oh, sudden flying squirrel. Are those the ones that sound like monkeys? Holy shit! Nothing. Nobody's clicking on something, that's super bono making strange noises. <laughs> Nobody cares. The dog cares. This person is probably has nothing Damn. has to do with that blah blah blah. No, it's the sheriff's office, why would it be a body? No. I'm here to bust you out of jail. Let's go. Most wanted. A man and his dog. Mm -hmm. There's like one left in there. I don't know. Check. Yes, Isn't the last one? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, there's lemonades left. Uh, the shitty ones. Yeah. Hmm. A toilet. It must be the bad guy. Nope. You can't see the future in the toilet. The future's for criminals to see. Hopefully, we'll be banging in the culprit soon. But that'll mean the end of our vacation here. What's this? A curvy tailed flying squirrel key? How'd that get down here? <laughs> I lost money because of that. that man. Good, he was constipated. Well, this 
Alright, like, York can open doors in two ways, where he does it slowly and cautiously and peeks behind it and closes behind them, or where he bashes them open. I'm relenting for this ladder, because, uh, it's fast me. And also fun looking. Look at that. Just <laughs> ram into it. Oh, hey, shooting range. Hello, A perfect boy. Find it, stretch walkies. I'll take you too, even though you're the wrong ones. That's because he's not down here anymore, then he went upstairs. It's hard to comment on the stream when you're upstairs making a thread. He just did. Hey Thomas, I found your goddamn faggy key. Take it. Agent York, did you find the key? Here, take this key. It's a banjo. You found the key. That's the right one. That's the right one. Ah! Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting that face. for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. All on the same. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the a and diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. <laughs> City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Oh, well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. <laughs> Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small-town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. <laughs> I thought you were slowly... <laughs> ...like this kid because it looks like... Ah. Uh, I cleared the office. I got $220. That's less money than I got for breakfast. A teen that falls in love with him. Well, Super John, have I got news for you? I have no idea. Wait a blonde girl put makeup on her forehead so that she could make up her mind. 
<laughs> Potatoes will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Potato! <laughs> Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes The hospital closes, closes guys. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Well, to... Let's talk to these guys. Quite a serious character. That he Wait a second. I got a poncho. Badass. Hey, you want a poncho? <laughs> Too bad. I am Batman. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive <laughs> like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Mm -hmm. Fuck the police. We are the police, dude. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. I think in this instance, the FBI supersedes the police. That's what happens. After I get out of here. Wait, how the fuck I get out of here? Down the speed limit. What's the speed limit here? Like 70? Agent Morgan. Oh yeah? Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? Sam never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? I got a bet! Well, she got you good. Terrible good. A week? It's not that light of a wound. It's just a flash wound. Yeah, it's just a flash. <laughs> I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leaves in all kinds of fun. <laughs> Side investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay. Right now is good. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, 
I think we're here. Not bad. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold well, rush, right there. she used yeah, to say. Right. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown and lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. That's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. Staying in the main? Greenvale. Oh, Greenvale? Oh, um, there was a murder that fits the profile of a series oh. of murders that okay. I'm tracking. Gotcha. I was just curious why the FBI took it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they're just in here. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Stephanie Fiona, the hospital receptionist. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think, I think has Dr. Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Lila's house. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But e wow, that's nothing like this at all. Get that shit out of here. Fiona, don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. It's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. <laughs> the feckles on her nose make her look like a schoolgirl. I wonder how good she is as a nurse. Mumming's a tough job, isn't it? Catch your breath already, you are. God damn. Ah. 
Let's go to the computer room. Asha. Which way is that? That's where I am. Let's see, there's the bishop. There's the knight. There's the king, and there's a pawn, and there's a queen. I love checkers! Jim. Hey, Kaboo. <laughs> Do not enter. These all have their innocence. Tail Hospital. Enema. Do not, God damn, everything is just enema. locking me up. No, no enema. <laughs> <laughs> A nitrogen enema. Yeah, it's for cleaning out your ass. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer, and a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? I don't know, guys. Can I do this? Kang passes work and meets Bishop. Oh, shit. Wow! <laughs> oh, it's not. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. In the morgue? I wouldn't have guessed. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. A Russian kept a sex Dr. slave Usha in his basement and fed him bag for days. With Anna. Healthy. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. What happened to them? Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect yeah. of this little game. Nah. You got a card key for underground play. I don't know, Pillbug. Yeah, I forgot to say her name is Morgan, isn't it? Here, come on, it's good. This game's already really good, yeah. What does he know? <laughs> Firefox because it's good. Always look both ways for passing the street.
I use Netscape. I needed a fire alarm. I can read his comments. Big shit saying everything. Professor Dick Shit. Hey guys, what's going on here? Is this a uh, this a body? <laughs> Dude, let me in. Let me in. Okay. Let me in. I'll get a save point. And a vending machine. Let's see how expensive this shit is. Uh, 24 bucks or 35 bucks. I already have both of these. Let's not buy, buy anything. Caution your body. Per examination service. Registration and filling. Blood and urine collection. X ray room. Chest X ray. Polyclinic. Okay. That's medical stuff. We have so many AFOs doing the same running. No AFOs, man, but we just keep getting more. There's only AFO, there's the AFO, and there's AFO pony. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Asha John. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. <laughs> Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds. Pressure a vampire? And a long cut running from chest to abdomen. The 
skull is also fractured. But that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably <laughs> He's having a blast after that, she was killed. She likes tooting that horn. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, <laughs> I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker, she also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. <laughs> the perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. This doctor is so suspicious. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. What are you doing, Doc? Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that, or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women really suffer, how you get off. especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... I'm a doctor. Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases hey. like these. Hey, Johnson, are you a body? Are you a body? Are you a body? What's up, Emily? We shouldn't stare at her for too long. Mm. Ah. Alright then. What's that? She's neatly wearing fake fingernails. What is that? Judging from the impressions, she was holding something in her hand, but it was removed around six hours after that. How the fuck can you tell that? Traces of a vapid liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. Beautiful blonde hair, stunning even in death. Just so conveniently covering her nipples. And his body is lying on the table. Oh god, weird, her nails. His age isn't immediately apparent, though he can't be that old. Looks like a trustworthy doctor. 
the old knight with a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George. The tongue has been removed. Look at the end of that stump. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed Are you just with not a very talk blunt with knife. Hand? In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well... Not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. He's ah, awesome. The perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Nobody gives a shit. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? Oh. There's no way. There's no way! My oh, first God. victory in the Grandmaster ranking. I lost my babe. Wait a second, something's a little off here. Zack, they're here. Oh, God damn it. Just what I needed. 
Fucking cold hospitals. It's already bad enough. Yeah, the combat is so terrible. Buy a snack. Dude. I'm gonna buy a snack. This crack is cost 35 bucks. Oh god, I have I'll show you, I'll show you right now. Lollipop, 2445. Crackers, 3556. Yeah, I bought a fucking snack, I get happy. <laughs> what kind of Hey guys, I'm back. I oh, left my wallet. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, it's Anna. Hey, there's a wallet over there. Be careful. Yeah, I can see this being DBH. I have nothing to use. Amazing. Amazing. Well, this is how you treat this. You get those points, they stop making those shots. Thing point. Get back in the wall. It's not gonna die yet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shot. No, Dagger Fag, you missed the point. This is the real wall. He's not okay.
Ah, morning. Moonwalking upstairs. That's a good title too. Sax man of music. I like Oh, hey look, when you pause it and the world is all fucked up like that, you cannot tell what time it is. The clock just goes on like mad. The main character. Talks this dumb person, now looking name Zack. Good coffee. 
I can't keep it. Why not? I'm gonna shut the head in space, didn't I? Oh, I don't. Um. Hmm. I only have one donut. Let's eat it. You stuffed your face. Oh no, I put the cock in my toolbox. In the end, it didn't matter. <laughs> it's covered with a white cloth. What should we do with that? The answer's obvious. Alright, now we know it's not alive. Combat is late, and that's not the fun part. The fun part is less than the game. Everything about this game is very, very uh, different. Literally. Oh, what? What is that? Hold on. Hold 